So what if you wanted to launch an implicit intent from the application? Well, we'll do that. So if you look at this menu at the moment, there are two items, settings and about. To launch a sharing intent, let's put another menu item. And I'm sure by now you know how to do this. So if you just open up your main, your menu main item, uh, copy an existing item, as, use it as a template. Let's identify it as a uh, implicit share. I think that's, a, that's okay. Give the same name to the string, implicit share. But then we have to go into our strings file. create a an entry implicit share and we'll call that share let's see if our let's see if our menu item appears to play great we have a share menu item but at the moment, it's not linked to anything, and if we click it, the app will probably crash. So if you remember, the handlers for all of these were in the main activity. And here are the handlers for the existing menu items, the settings, the action about, and now we need one for our new what was it called? Implicit share. Let's copy this as as a template. And the ID for that menu item is implicit share. And again, the autocorrect for Android Studio helps us out quite a bit. In the similar way to the menu item up here, we're going to be building an intent, putting some in extra data, and then starting the activity by sending out an intent. For the implicit share, we'll start an intent. I'm just going to label it a sharing intent so we can keep track of the different types of intents we've got. New intent. Content, intent, and action send. Ah, or we could have just done that. We could have just typed in intent dot action send. So we're not specifying a class here. We're just randomly sending out a request to say, "Hey, hey, Android." Uh, I want an action send. What apps do you have out there that can handle this request for me? Um, well, what type of share are we going to do? Well, let's do a simple text sharing. Sharing intent. Let's set that to a text plane. We need something to share. Usually you'd have a text box and you'd enter something and then click share but let's just build a simple string here let's call it uh, string to share hey guys have you seen the latest tutorial on client user.net nice string there and the next step is to put as we've done up here before is to put an extra in but in in an implicit intent these uh, these extras are already common standard ones so put extra intent 
dot extra text and our string to share. And finally, we just have to start the activity. Intent. And what we do here is we, we create the chooser. So you're choosing which other apps are available. So create chooser for the sharing. Oh, lots of typing. I know it must be. Uh, we've done a lot of work on intents and we're coming up to the end of the set of videos, but I think it's it's been really useful. It's been really useful to cover this. Share via. So that's how we create the share. Let's highlight the app, hit play and admire our work. Well, here's our application. Let's uh, hit the menu. Let's select share. Well, we do get a chooser. We're not going to use our own application at this point. We want to see how our app interacts with the other apps on the phone. So let's hit messaging. And you can see that we've opened up this other application. And at the very bottom, you can see the string that we wanted to share as part of our implicit intent call to action send. Great. It's good to see that working. It's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.